there's a way to make an entrance. <laughs> My destiny. It was now a conspiracy of witches. Download Veely today. On this episode of Cash and Kari, a collector gets emotional when he has to part with his vintage cars, a prized Harley, and extensive lunchbox collection. I knew this day would come. A consignment client proves to be a tough negotiator. Okay. I'd have to have about 100 for this. Really? Yeah. I'm Kari Cuxie, and I run estate sales. Whether it's a simple bungalow or a grand mansion, there's always a hidden treasure. I also buy out entire homes, refurbish just about anything, and run my vintage store here in Michigan. I'm a treasure broker. I give dusty relics a new lease on life and make great deals in the process. Sold. Kari's on her way to see Mike, who is an avid collector. He wants to raise money to open an antique store and hopes that an estate sale is the way to do it. What exactly are you selling, Mike? Pretty much everything. What I'm hoping to get out of this is uh, it's going to help my wife and I tremendously for the project that we're trying to get off the ground next spring. We'll bring you into my collection room. Wow. This is my lunchbox collection room. You've been collecting for a long time. For a few time. years. The jukebox is up for sale. OK. Um, and the slot machine the slot goes machine. up for sale. Does it give money? Yeah, fake money. Fake money. Yeah, that's how I keep my wife happy. OK. okay. A lot of work ahead of us, A lot right of here. work in here. I'm yeah, glad Paula's coming. We uh, have a hovercraft here. OK. It's uh, been sitting for a while, and I used to have a lot of fun with it, but okay. something my wife's been wanting me to get rid of for a while. We'll make your wife happy, yeah, then. I'm sure you will. Now we'll show you some of my other collection. More toys. More Whoa. toys. Big toys, yeah. boy toys. More boy toys. toys. These are the boys <laughs> and the girls toys. We have a 1929 Mercedes Gazelle kit car. Now does it run? Yes, it runs. It needs a little, little tweaking, but the car does run. Great. We have the uh, 1979 MGB. All right. That was the last year that they were made and sold here. This is a 1978 um, SS, a true SS, all original parts. Pretty pristine. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I figured my wife needed a car that was pretty like her. Over here, girls, we have our 1930 Model A. My wife and I, when we got married, this was our limo. Oh, oh, really? This is what we cool. use. That's very neat. Yeah. The cars here are going to be a huge draw yeah. for the sale. It's going to be great. Mike's inflated vehicle prices may hurt his chances of actually selling them. Kari will have to convince him that accepting lower offers might be the only way to get these items sold. You're skipping over the, the most eye candy I, I, in this garage. I know. This is the heartbreaker right this here. This is sweet. Yes, this is a uh, 1946 Harley. This is actually one of the first ones built after World War II, and this has uh, been in the family for a while. This is going to be a, a great item for the sale. What do you think as far as what you want for it? 30 grand. 30 grand? Yeah. OK. This sale could be a huge success. The garage alone holds over $70,000 in potential value. But realistically, Mike's prices are high, and Carr is worried that this will scare away customers. Mike's estate sale value is estimated at ten to fifteen thousand dollars. Carr's take would be between fifteen and thirty percent before expenses. It's just hard. It's hard to part with some of that stuff. You know, it's not every day you can have a car like this. I think this has been a hard process for Mike. We all get really attached to certain things. I knew this day would come. Things I'm passionate about. I mean, I've been collecting for years. Oh, well. It's a little tougher than I thought, letting go with some of my prized possessions, you know, my bike and the cars, but it'll work. I can live with it. Why was that hard to read? Curry's completed a tour of Mike's property and is ready to start the research process. It'll be all hands on deck to sort through his collection, clean it up, research it, price it up, and set it out for the upcoming estate sale. Can you sit right down if they do have a thermos? Yes, please. please. They're worth more if they have a thermos. Disney firefighters, dome, lunchbox, and thermos, and thermos, though that doesn't count. Does they have a thermos? No. No. If it had a thermos, it'd be 150 bucks. Wow. I'm going to say, like, 40 bucks. OK. Disco fever, sweet. Check it out. Oh, that's fun. Ouch, I just punched my finger. Let's see. Okay. No, that Grizzly one right Adams there. Grizzly Adams. Cool. Both these. Nice. These are sweet. Let me look them up. 
1977. Grizzly Adams, how much are you? One sold for $85 a couple days ago. I'd say that's a good one. I need a hand with that thing. Because Mike and his wife live in the home where they're going to conduct the estate sale, Carr decides to put up a tent outside to really showcase all the smaller, high quality items. In addition to these vintage toys, Mike's collected some antique furniture pieces that need to go to a good home. Hey, Mike. Yes, Carr. This bench right here? Sure. I'd like to purchase it. It needs some love. I think I want to repurpose it into something cool. Make it look pretty again? Yeah. Yeah, I think we can do that. 40 bucks? That's fine with me. Is that fair for you? Yeah. Okay, cool. $40 for the bench was very fair. It's going to be a great piece for Stephanie to repurpose. I can't wait to see what she does. It's been a long day, but Kari and her team are set up and ready to go. She's worried that the customers will suffer from sticker shock when they see the price of the cars and the Harley, and it may keep buyers from making an offer. Her solution for now is to stage a big print and online campaign to try and target collectors and pull in as many people as possible for the sale. Jump in with me, come on. This one starts, okay good, this one starts right up. It's day one of the estate sale. It's a gorgeous day and customers have gathered, anxious to pick over the collection. Even Mike seems to be excited about the sale. I want to pull that MG out. Okay, folks, go for it. Thank you so much. Oh, it's five bucks. Let's get the plastic pieces. You see this now? This is, this is lacquer. Yes. And every bit of that's got to come off. Nice car, but it needs work. I think the prices are just too high on those vehicles and that Harley. People were kicking a lot of tires, but I think they're just too scared by those prices. Take a look at it. Feel free to make us an offer, because he's going to consider offers. And, uh, not good. It's a nice car. I think he would probably do around 3500 He needs some repairs, though. He needs some he needs uh, money to, to restore it. And he needs some money to put on it. Run by him, see what you're gonna say. He offered three, and I countered back with 3,500. I told him that you might take that, but I want you to be comfortable. Okay, here's where we stand. I got him at 3,500. So if you're willing to go there, that's, that's his number. Okay. And you can think about it. There's no pressure. <laughs> No pressure, just <laughs> What do you think? Are you the boss? Mm -hmm. I told him to go for it. <laughs> so she he says go for it. on his shoulders. OK, I'll go for it. Awesome. You got a deal. Well, the first thing I'm going to do when I take it home is restore it, put it back in the original shape, and then have fun with it. Kari's team sold the MG despite the high prices, but they only made $4,556. They've got a long way to go if they're going to make some real money for Mike. It's been a busy day, but it's not over yet. Kari is now heading to a customer's house. She claims she has some great items that she wants Kari to buy on consignment, or even outright. Either way, Susan needs Kari to liquidate some of her ever-growing antique collection before it overruns her whole house. Okay, what about this right here? This caught my eye. I don't think I can let that go. It's I really need to keep cool. That. You're teasing you me. We're walking through the teases. Just a little bit of a tease. Why don't you show me the good stuff you're thinking about selling? All right, why don't you come right this way? Okay. So this church pew right here, I think it looks great right there, but the, the problem with having it in my living room is it's really not comfortable. Okay. So nobody really, really wants to lounge there and watch TV, so I'd, I'd love to consign that with you. Absolutely. This is a great bench. I think somebody would love this. Is oh, this for sale? No, this is it. amazing. It's an old uh, bellows of a blacksmith shop. Made into a, a wonderful coffee table. Coffee table. Right. And it does still work. You can see how wow. in a blacksmith shop, that would have been That's really amazing. helpful. amazing. What a great piece. Never let go of this. This little tote. Yes, I saw the picture of this when you sent me photos. Right, Love right. It. I just don't have the space anymore. I think I would like to buy this. Oh, that would be great. I think this would really oh. display well with some things for the store. What are you thinking that you, do you remember that what you be, paid for that it? That would be great. Mm. 
I'm sh I'd have to have about a hundred for this. Really? Yeah. hundred bucks? I would. I see them all the time in shops. Really half their size they're going for, for, for that price. I think a hundred bucks is probably fair for me to have a great display piece. Right. And it will no longer be Luke's. No, it'll be Kari's. Typically I'm a tougher negotiator, but Susan's so nice and her pieces are so wonderful. I just gave her the price she wanted and they're perfect for the store. This ABC table that I told you about. It's really, really cool. And these um, chairs, of course, came from an old school. It's a great piece. Yeah. It's a great a enamel top pieces. table. Can That's you imagine such. all the little girls <laughs> who would play around this table and have little tea parties? That would be great. We've got a cute little kid's vignette going at the oh, store, good. and I oh. think it would look adorable. Kari knows these items will sell quickly because they're unique and in good condition. Pieces like this copper wash basin, and Kids Potty will be a hit in Kari's store. Kari's commission from the sale is 35% and the client keeps the rest. It's day two of Mike's estate sale and the weather is not cooperating. It's raining and cold, making the drive to this remote location much less attractive to buyers. I don't think we're gonna have a lot of customers. I hope we're doing a little bit of selling today because otherwise it's gonna be a total wash. <laughs> There's Paula with <laughs> her big umbrella. Okay, what'd you sell? Some lunch boxes. Good. Almost $200 worth of lunch boxes. Really? Yeah. Nice. That yeah, coffee so. looks pretty good. I'm gonna have some. I'm freezing, so yeah. Me too. Coffee, couple so. layers of clothing, little slap machine action. Yeah. I had to have something to do. Oh. All right, let me go get some clothing. All right, cool. I'll wait here. It's in pretty good shape. He's a little emotionally attached, but he is willing to take any reasonable offer. Right, right. It's already mid-afternoon and hardly anyone has come by. On a rainy day like today, with such a remote location, Kari isn't getting the traffic she had hoped for. It's time to make a tough decision. We're gonna shut down early. Okay, like, cool. It's, 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 it's miserable, yeah. 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 Let's just start loading things in the garage and we'll get it packed up. Perfect. Coming up too. Would you take 300 for the slot machine? I will go find out for you. I'd love to have you have that slot machine. Sir? You bought a slot machine? <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. You gonna invite me over to play it? Yeah. All right. Where's the slot machine going? In our in basement. We redid our whole basement into a bar. Awesome. I'll unplug it and we'll get it all loaded in. Kari? Yes. We sold the slot machine. Good job. Have a good day, folks. Enjoy. See you later. Kari and her team were packing up to leave when a rush of customers arrived and snapped up some key items, like the cabinets, and the slot machine. Despite this, their totals were still well below the estimated goal. It's not just the rain that's the problem, the prices were scaring away people too. Kari has decided to regroup and try the sale again in a few weeks. She'll run an even bigger ad campaign and also speak with Mike again about lowering his prices. Looking good. Yeah. Love the color. I like this blue. You know, like fabric on the top? I was thinking maybe a, a velvety type fabric. Oh, yeah. Something that'll look good. I looking. like it. Yeah. And then a coordinating pillow for the back. I like it. I like it a lot. It's going to look good. Yeah, I'm excited. Really cool. I'm excited to see it when you're done. Woohoo. Soon. Okay. It's been two weeks and Kari has come back to Mike's sale. They've run a huge ad campaign and the weather is cooperating. All that's left to do now is deal with Mike's prices. How much flexibility do we have? Well, I'll listen to the offers, you know. And, if, and you're okay? You're you're yeah. you're in a better spot in terms of letting some things go. Yeah, I actually, okay. I am. <laughs> so that's thirty-two. How about a hundred bucks? There you go. I think it's worth it. Got that, and I'm interested in the pedal car too. Okay, so what are you thinking on the pedal car? I'll do one twenty-five on all of it. How about one fifty? Because we're throwing in all this for you. Top would be one thirty. That's your top? Yeah. How about 140? A little bit more. <laughs> Help us out. It's a cold day in the it country. It is a cold day, and I'm getting we're colder out here, by the second. We're out here, we're working. We Split the difference, we'll do 135. All right, that sounds fair. Okay. You got it. 135, Miss Sharon. Thank All you. Right. 
It's impressive to see 310 lunchboxes. You don't see that every day. It's hard to, to put your collection up for sale. There's an emotional attachment to everything. You know, it's not, oh, it's a lunchbox, or oh, it's a puzzle, or oh, it's a board game. You know, you went out and you wanted that, so there was a reason you bought it. So it's, it's tough to get rid of that stuff. Oh, it's amazing when you see this amount of lunch boxes, you get all excited and you're just like, oh, wow, I hope I find the one I'm looking for and get a good deal on it. Like today I went shopping and found quite a few that I was happy about. Rick is a die-hard toy collector. And believe it or not, his collection is larger than Mike's and he's keen to show it off. About 20 years ago, I started collecting and it's because my mother gave me some of these Hot Wheels we had as a child. Someone told me once, oh, you know, these are worth a lot of money. And I started looking at this, looking at that, and the next thing you know, I've got a good collection worth quite a bit of money. That Mike's sale picked up these two lunch boxes to put into my collection. It was really hard to decide which ones to pick, but I thought these were nice, they fit what I'm looking for, and also I got a good deal on them. I just love collecting. It's kind of a, maybe a disease. <laughs> I don't know, but it's fun. So are you all set with these yep. motorcycles? Taking these. Oh, okay. I thought you were looking at the big one in there. Well, I can't afford that one, so I had to settle for these. Oh, four mini ones. I guess that's better than nothing. So that's 32. Thank you so much. Have a great day. I want to get out of Be careful. Why? Because you'll have it. Come on, Ma. It's, it's a little expensive. We can't replace that. Today's sale brought out many people who just wanted to take a peek at all the big ticket items, like the cars and the motorcycle. But Sticker Shaw kept anyone from making an offer. A buyer called Kari from Los Angeles for the Harley, but told her it was grossly overpriced. It's time for Kari to have another conversation with Mike. I just, I don't know if this is really going to sell at the sale or not, because I just... That's okay. Believe me, I won't be disappointed. The good news is, is that I did get um, a couple of calls today and people specifically going to come tomorrow to look at the cars. Oh, cool. I'm going to sell another big ticket item, yeah, I'll say. Yeah. So, very good. Well, we're going to wrap it up and okay. uh, we'll be back in the morning. OK. All right. Kari's headed to her shop because Susan's pieces have arrived and she wants to make sure that they're displayed and priced properly. Susan's stuff is here if you guys would place it. There's a little table that needs to be put out with the cute little chairs, a couple little boxes I bought for displays. And there's Great. a really funny little like kid's potty. Oh, you can put <laughs> it in the kid's area with a little bear or something. Susan's pieces fit in perfectly with Kari's store display. With a store full of customers searching for new treasures, they are sure to sell quickly. When I do a piece of furniture, I like to add something else to it. Adding a, a pillow that takes me 10 minutes with some leftover scraps adds more value to the piece. To antique this, I used a mixture of latex paint and glaze, and I'm just going to rub it on. I'm going to use the same fabric that I used in the pillow, staple this down, and then I've also picked out a coordinating trim that I'm going to put around both sides. And then I'm going to put this back in its spot, grab my pillow, Finished. Once again, Stephanie has taken an ordinary piece of furniture and turned it into a gem. Her hard work has brought this piece's value from $40 to a potential 300 bucks. It's the last day of Mike's sale. Pretty Morning, good folks. If you need any help or have any questions, please let us know. Kari's really hoping to get some offers on the big ticket items. It's now or never for Mike's sale. If he doesn't let some of the vehicles go, They'll never make their sales goal. I also have a hovercraft in the back. That's me. Where's that at? Whoa. It needs a little love, but it's in good shape. It's in good shape. Stagnant water and leaves are included. So. Ah, it is Michigan. Yeah. It's open to negotiation. Yeah, make, make us an offer, and we'll see what we can do with it. Four? Ooh, I don't know if I can do four. How about five? OK. You do five? I'll do five. Sold. Whoa. All right, excellent. I had a couple other people looking at it. You were the quickest one to take. Yep. Thought it was good, cool, and, I, and I've and i always wanted one as, for as long as I can remember. Kari, we sold the hovercraft. Yay! Yay. First <laughs> sale of the day. That sounds pretty good. 40 bucks. Dang. Oh. What do you think? I think it's pretty sweet. Are you thinking you want to take it home with you? I think so. Well, we're asking five, 5,000. Then that's your bottom dollar? Um, I think there's a little wiggle room there. What are you thinking? 
What do you think? What do you, what do you, how about 35? Um, I'm thinking like 45. About four. I could live with four. 42.50. Four is all I can go. Are you paying cash? Credit card. Playing card card? If you could pay cash with the four, we can do that. But I can't do credit card. You guys think about it and I'll come back. Okay. Okay. That sounds good. Okay. If she pays by credit card, the company charges us a percentage and that will eat into my commission. I don't want to lose the deal, but, but I also want to make sure. Lose, um, right. Your butt on it. Right. I have an idea. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. So if you did 4120, that would take care of my charge and everybody would be happy. And you'd I have would, a new car. I wouldn't be happy. You wouldn't be happy? Oh. You can't make that deal? How about cash in 38? Cash, cash 39. 3850. <laughs> 39. You know, there's a TV in here. <laughs> they might even show reruns and leave it to Beaver. Okay, you know, you got a or deal. Father Knows Best. You got a deal. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Sold. Very All right. good. I didn't want to lose the deal on the kick car, but I wanted to make it work. So we came to an agreement. I'm happy. Sold the big ticket item, so I'm happy. When they started the sale two weeks ago, Carr and her team faced bad weather, high prices, and low turnout. This time, they fared much better. They sold the kit car, the hovercraft, and whatever's left over, Mike will use as inventory for the antique store he plans to open in the spring. I think the team was great. I had. I'm actually going to miss them guys. I feel like they've uh, become family. I'm real excited about the outcome. I'm, everything turned out great. Kari's team managed to pull in $11,291. Mike's happy. We're happy. We did a great sale.